Hello and welcome to our lesson on solving problems with equidistant paths. We're going to show the path of a ball that is released from point A and rolled along a path that is the same distance from AC as it is AB. To do this we're going to construct an angle bisector of this angle. To construct an angle bisector I'm going to draw an arc from A so it crosses the two lines of AB and AC. Now I'm going to draw another arc from this point and from this point. And these two arcs must have the same radius. So here's my first arc and the second arc. And now I can draw a line from A that passes through the two intersecting arcs to construct the angle bisector. So this blue line identifies the path that is equidistant between AC and AB. This means all the points on this side of the line are closer to line AB and all the points on this side of the line are closer to AC than AB. Okay, let's try the next question. A ferry sails along an equidistant path between points A and B. So we're going to construct a perpendicular bisector of a line AB and this will be the equidistant path. To do this I put my compass on point A and I open up a radius so it is greater than half a length of a line AB and I draw an arc. Keeping the radius the same I do the same from point B. And where the two arcs cross I draw a line through the two points. And this perpendicular bisector is the equidistant path between points A and B. All the points on this side of the line are closer to A than they are to B. And all the points on this side of the line are closer to B than they are to A. Okay, let's try two more questions. So do you want to make a copy of these two diagrams and complete the constructions? You can pause the video and resume it when you're ready. So we're going to use loci to find a point that is nearer to AB than BC and equidistant between points B and C. To find the points that are nearer to AB than BC, I'm going to construct an angle bisector of angle B here. So I place my compass at point B and I'm going to draw an arc through lines BC and AB. I'm going to draw another arc from this point and from this point. And now I'm going to draw a line from point B through the intersecting arcs. To find the path that is equidistant between points B and C, I'm going to construct a perpendicular bisector of line BC. So again, I open up my compasses greater than half the length of a line BC, and I draw an arc above and below the line. Keeping the radius of the compasses the same, I draw the same arc from C. And now I'm going to draw a line through the two intersecting arcs. The question asks us to find the point that is nearer to AB than BC and equidistant between points B and C and that is this point here. Okay the final question. Use loci to shade in the region that is greater than two units from AD within three units of point D and nearer to CB than CD. So to begin with I'm going to identify the points that are greater than two units from AD which is this path here. Within three units of point D this would be a quarter circle of radius three units. So this is the locus of a point that are three units from D. And to identify the locus of a point that is nearer to CB than CD, 
that is an angle bisector of angle C here. It must be greater than two units from AD. So in this section, within three units of D, so now it must be over here and nearer to CB than to CD, which is this part here. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you found that useful. Thanks again and take care.